Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be the how to create groups and use the base group uh, search feature within TSM part of my TSM for newbies classic guide. So let's head over to the groups tab on our clean profile that we created before and let's talk about creating groups really fast. So we'll open up TSM and go to our groups. These can be as complex or as simple as you want them to be. Your imagination is really your limit. Uh, I've made and have seen some pretty over-the-top TSM profiles before, but for this guide, I'm going to try to keep it simple, but also show you and explain to you how complex you can make them and why you would want to do that. So let's start up here at the top. To the right of base group, you'll see a little icon with a circle and a plus in it. So let's click that. Okay, what that's going to do is add a new group. Now it, it will allow us to rename it over here and get to give it a title. Okay, so let's let's title this Kata. Okay, and then hit enter. Now, if you go over to the far far right here, you'll see uh, that there is a pencil icon. Uh, click this and it will allow you to rename it and this works for all groups So if you want to change how a group is named or organized go ahead click the pencil and give it a new name super simple Okay, now let's click our new cata group and click the uh, circle plus icon again uh, This will make a new group attached to our cata group now we can rename this as well so what would we like to add to our new cata group? Well, BOEs are a good thing to keep track of, right? So let's make a BOE group here. Just type in BOEs and hit enter, and now we have a group. What else would we like to add in our cata group here? Uh, well, materials seem like a good thing to, to track as well, right? So let's add a new group uh, of materials. See now we have both a BOE and a materials group underneath our cata group. Okay. It would be easy enough to just stop here and add every BOE that you get and in, into the BOE group and every material that you see from cloth to ore and all that stuff into your material section here and be done. But that wouldn't be very efficient or orderly when it comes to using TSM. Now let's take this to the next level. Let's go to our BOEs group here and add some more groups below it. So let's make this more organized, okay? So we can go over here to the BOEs section, hit the little plus marker, and add a, a group underneath it, okay? Let's do um, one, we'll title this greens. We can add another group underneath it. So let's do two blues and one more We'll do three uh, purples, okay? So now that you can see, we have all three item qualities that drop in the world. You got your uncommons, you got your rares, you got your epics. Now we can do the same thing with our materials tab, okay? So let's go underneath our materials and add, let's see, um, cloth obviously seems like a good thing to choose. So let's do cloth. Let's add another one, Let, let's go with or okay so we can do two or okay now this looks much better and way more organized okay now let's talk about why you would want to segment out items like this the reason is that each of these groups now let's talk about our boe's examples here uh, you could make tsm posting operations or auctioning operations for each quality of item here, for the greens, the blues, and the purples. That meaning you could price your greens cheaply, your blues at a medium price, and your epics at a high price. Personally, I don't do this because my posting operation is so flexible. It can handle the price differences between the qualities. But it is an option that people use mostly for like specific transmog special ones like the jade set or something right now let's explain why this would be very useful for your materials now let's say we have a blacksmith alt that we want to send all of our ore to 
Well, if all of our materials were just lumped up into one group together in the materials group here, it would be impossible for us to send just the ore. So we made a dedicated solo group of ore, which allows us to dictate what we do with that group. Later, I will touch base on this again when we talk about the mailing operations and how useful and powerful making material groups separate like this is just amazing. Now, I want to take it one step further just to show you how detailed you can make this if you wish to. So in our BOEs uh, here section, let's go to our, to our green tab and add a new group below it. And we want to title this, let's say, Weapons. Okay. Now, what we could do is add every green quality weapon into this subsection. Okay. Now, let's go down to our Materials group and go to our Ore section. Okay. And let's add, um, let's say, we'll do Raw. Then we can add another one. Let's do uh, Bars. And let's add one more called uh, Gems. Now you can see this get, can get very detailed, but now I want to warn you really fast, making your groups overly complex can sometimes cause issues. If uh, I find it best to keep things simple and only create groups for special reasons. I just wanted to show you this small example of how crazy detailed TSM groups can become. So now let's quickly show you something while else while we're here since uh, I think you've pretty much got the gist on how to create groups with TSM. So let's show you how to add and remove items from groups. Uh, there are two methods on how to do this. First, let's click our green group here at the top. Now I have some items in my bags, so let's select these four items here. So you can tell that they are selected by the check mark next to them, okay? It's pretty obvious. Now, if we want to add these items to a group, we just come down here to the bottom and then hit the add four items. Now you have to make sure over here on the left-hand side, you have the group you want to add those items to selected. So we can't just click our blue uh, section here and start adding greens to it because that's not what we want. We want the greens in the green section, okay? So make sure you just have the right group that you created uh, selected when you're adding items to it. Now let's say we want to remove these four items, okay? So we just click them again, okay? And at the bottom, you will see this remove four items, okay? And that will take them back out of the green group that we created. Now there is a second method of adding items, and this is my favorite. I think it's much faster. Now let's select these four items again, okay? And you want to uh, left click and hold um, the items and then drag and drop them in to the section you want them to be. Okay. I find this super easy and a quick way of adding items uh, you get to the designated group and keeping things very organized. So while we're still in our greens group, uh, let's say we don't want this weapons group anymore underneath our greens. We want to organize it better, clean it up. Well, if you go to the right of the weapons, right, you'll see a little tiny trash can icon. And if you click it, it will then prompt you to delete this group. Now, ours is empty currently, so it's fine to delete it. But I just want to warn you here, if you have items or materials inside a group you're performing this delete on, you will lose those, I uh, those items data. In that group so you either get the item or materials again then add it back to the to a new group so i just wanted to warn you about that before you do the delete function now we have one more thing to discuss here it's the base group search function so here at the top above our category group you have this group called base group okay now click on it and to the right you'll see that we have a search bar with search items in it uh, below it, however, in the ungrouped item options, just make sure that it's set to specific item. Okay. Now we can click on the search items field above here and have our little cursor sitting there ready. 
this feature, you can literally search for any item in the game using this. Uh, let me show you how this works. So let's say I want to find the curl blade. Okay, so I can just start typing curl and it will show me uh, it in the drop down list below. Now, to add this item to my purple group, I just need to left click hold on the item and drag and drop it into the group that I want it to be in, which is my purples. Okay, super easy. This is very helpful. Now, when I click on our purples group, you can see that the coral blade has been added into our group section here. So if you wanted to, you could start using this search for items and start adding them into sections uh, you created as a group you know, for BOEs, items to materials, whatever you want can be found here in the group database. So just or in the group uh, base search function here. So it's like extremely powerful. Uh, so this is going to wrap up uh, this part of how to create groups and how to use the base search function with TSM. Uh, our next part of the series will be how to create posting operations uh, using the ATR value. So uh, thanks for watching and until next time.